Guest videos. Cuda box. Cuda box. The 17th of February, 1905 to the 5th of February, 1981, whose actual name was Cuda Buksh, was a magician and fire walker. He was born in Aknor, Jammu and Kashmir on the border of India and what is now Pakistan. Aknor was once a Buddhist center. Cuda Bucks could also see when blindfolded, blind sight. In one of his most famous performances he would cover his eyes with soft o balls, blindfold himself, swarth his entire head in strips of cloth and yet still be able to see. Bucks's ability to see while blindfolded influenced British author Roald Dahl in his story of Henry Sugar, a man who was taught to develop the same powers. The description of Bucks's training in Hardy War, including the distinction of the conscious and subconscious minds is reproduced very faithfully in Henry Sugar. In both versions, the yogi tells him it will take about 15 years of training to be able to focus on one object for three and a half minutes. This picture shows Cuda Bucks riding a bicycle blindfolded. The videos, fire walking. The first video was filmed in the UK in Carshalton, Inner London, and shows Cuda Bucks walking on a bed of burning wood and charcoal. C. Firewalker walks on burning wood and charcoal, 1935. According to Vincent J. Dakzinski, this 1935 demonstration of firewalking was given to an audience of scientists from the University of London, Council for Psychical Research, and news reporters. Cuda Bucks walked across a 12-foot pit of burning hot charcoal unscathed. Bucks's feet were checked before and after the fire walking demonstration to verify that no protective chemicals, topical creams or herbs were used. It was a very windy day, and the surface temperature of the fire was read at 806 degrees Fahrenheit. The body of the fire was measured at 2,552 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt steel. After Bucks walked through the coals, a cameraman who had messed up some photographs of the event asked for a retake. Bucks obliged by repeating the fire walk. Again, he suffered no after effects. The next demonstration was performed for an audience of onlookers in Midtown New York on August 3, 1938. After a short period where he attained the right mental state, Cuda Bucks walked through a pit approximately 15 yards long, where the depth of the coals was above his ankles. Witnesses say they could not stand the heat within three feet of the pit. But as you can see they cooked on it to show you could cook an omelette in next to no time. But in the middle of the feet he stopped and stepped up on a stone while the press photographers took pictures. Search for Cuda Bucks thrills the onlookers at Rockefeller Center by walking barefoot through HD stock footage. Blind sight. The unblindfolded Bucks required reading glasses to read fine print. But when blindfolded, he would read the dates on coins which were held in a spectator's hand, read the fine print of a magazine, thread a needle duplicate words he had never seen written, and shoot a bullseye with a pellet gun. In this, poor quality, video Cuda Bucks shows how he was blindfolded and then provides a demonstration. He reproduces foreign languages, performs arithmetic and manages to reproduce lines. Search in the channel Magic Archives for Cuda Bucks. A different video can also be found if you search for the man with x-ray eyes. This video was released by Pave News. Testing Cuda Bucks's skills. In July 1935, Harry Price, Britain's famous ghost hunter, and a team of doctors tested Bucks's x-ray vision claims. Price came prepared with surgical bandages, adhesive tape, pads of cotton wool and a special tie-on mask composed of two thicknesses of heavy black cotton between which was a layer of cotton wool. 
After Buck successfully read from a book with the bandaging on, a doctor readed his blindfold. Bucks was still able to read a handwritten note that was placed on a table behind his back. In September 1935, Bucks was put to another test, again by Price, and this ended up propelling him to fame in England and much of Europe. A pit was dug and filled with logs of wood, charcoal, paraffin and newspapers that were set on fire. A couple of hours later, Bucks walked across the glowing fire pit not once, but four times. There was not a suspicion of a blister on his feet, Price noted in his book Confessions of a Ghost Hunter. Nine days later, and in the presence of more observers, Bucks walked twice across a fire pit hot enough to melt steel. But this time too Bucks's feet remained unscathed. This led Price to hypothesize that, there was some obscure relationship between physical and mental forces that helped to make him immune from injury. Bucks died in 1981 in Los Angeles, California. He spent his last days playing cards at the Magic Castle, a club in Hollywood, with magicians who claimed they could beat Bucks only if he didn't put on his blindfold. For more details read John Zabricki, Empire of Enchantment, The Story of Indian Magic.